morning. Welcome back to Bonds Maker Homestead. Today we're going to talk about assembling and disassembling our um, Vivor cream separator. Now, there's really there's not a whole lot to it. It does look pretty overwhelming when you first get it, um, and that is simply um, because of this piece right here. Um, there's I think about 14 pieces or inside this um, and we're going to disassemble this or, and I can show you how to reassemble it. The rest of it is pretty simple. Um, so we're going to, um, I'm going to show you already how I assemble this um, and then I'll show you how to disassemble it for washing. Thing that I always do is I like to lay everything out into the, the place that it goes. So one by one, we're going to put these pieces on um, in the order that they go on. So if I disassemble it in that order, I reassemble it in that order, you can't get it wrong. And so this is just how I have everything laid out. Again, this one does have a lot of pieces to it, um, but it is super easy to handle or, and after you get it all back together it goes pretty quick. So we're going to start with assembly uh, before we disassemble it. So right here, all right, this is the one that we're going to start with. All right, it does have, if you look down in this hole, it has a little bar um, in there and right here right, it's going to fit directly on top of this piece right here. So I just try to line that bar up and it goes right in. Next, you're going to start with the spout that has the largest opening of the hole. This is your next piece that will go right on top and it'll help filter. Now you'll pick your spout that has the smaller hole. So right here, here we have this and it's going to fit right in that the center of the beginning piece that we had. All right, we so right here we have our float where right, it is going to go right in the top right here so right here in the center piece and then the last piece that we have right here is going to simply be the bowl that we place on top oh well, i guess i kind of lot. where we do have um i'm not quite sure what it's called but i just call it the um the handle because this is what you're we're going to place this down in the bowl all right, and this is actually going to open and close um, whether or not you want milk uh, to go. All right, so if you see this, you see where this lines up with the hole that's in the middle. That's going to mean that this is open. When you shut it, you turn it the other way, it will actually close it off if you don't want any milk to go at that time. All right, so we're just going to leave this in the closed position and put it on top. So we have everything assembled aside from um, our plug, which is super easy. I'm not plugging anything in right now because I am going to um, go ahead and clean this. Uh, you do want to clean it with warm soapy water. You do not want to place this in the dishwasher. And then you want to air dry it or sometimes I just go ahead and dry it um, right then and there. Now, anytime before you make um, your cream, you use your cream separator, you wanna go ahead and disassemble this and wash it or make sure there's no dust, anything like that that's already in there. Right, and then you're going to reassemble it. I will um, run a cycle of hot water through this or just to make sure that everything uh, is working properly before you put your milk in here. Because the worst thing I think that anybody could do is 
put your milk in here without running that hot water cycle and then you found out that you accidentally assembled something wrong and you have a lot of wasted milk. So just go ahead and do the hot water cycle through it or save yourself some heartache or you'll know you did it correctly or it takes no time for this to run through. Um, if you saw where I used it the first time, that video, you'll know it's super simple to use and it's really satisfying to use. Um, but yes, don't skip that hot water cycle to run through um, this just to double check yourself. So I am going to go ahead and show you how to disassemble this for cleaning purposes. So the next part of this is going to feel a little bit like watching me in reverse exactly what you just watched. Um, the only thing that's different is I am going to um, disassemble that bell. And the reason why um, I, I didn't um, go ahead and disassemble it is because even though I wash this after I use it, I wash it before I use it, I always keep that assembled. It's just easier to keep it assembled. Um, it's pretty compact whenever it is assembled. In that way, uh, because I lay everything out in the order that it needs to go on, it just, it keeps it simpler. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with uh, disassembling this. Last thing on, first thing off. And then your float. Simple as that. Now, this is the part that everybody kind of gets um, nervous about, uh, and it's there's really no reason um, that you should. Uh, one fun feature I can show you on this, this little piece right here um, will actually determine how thick or how light your cream is. Or so if you tighten it all the way down, you're gonna get, I believe that one was um, like the thickest cream. And if you loosen it, um, you're gonna get more more cream and milk together all right so you can play with this setting i like crank this thing down the one of the um, few times i've used it or right, and i was like whoa or right, it came out pretty thick and i ended up making like as i disassembled this to clean it or right, there was like butter formed in here uh because i had this so tightened now i don't recommend doing that but that that did happen um so learn from my experience um so let me get okay so this right here is just going to twist off just like this i'm going to put it right here so keep in mind or how we disassemble is how we're going to reassemble there's so our bill there we go Look at all of these filters. And this is what scares people. Don't let it scare you. It's so easy. Especially if you're following along with, you know, d doing it this way. important to do this as like an assembly and then a disassembly um, because when you get this machine in it's going this piece is going to come assembled or so you definitely want to know how to um, disassemble it And then we do have this rubber piece um, and then 
I will actually take it off and wash it as well. So that's how it is. Um, totally apart. And it's honestly, it's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to reassemble this and then I'll disassemble it and wash it for my use for today. Now, if you do look at this, where it's they 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 both have these grooves and patterns, or and you can just follow along with that. So we're just going to continue to um, place these on here. Just following these ridges, or and that'll be the easiest thing for you to do is just to follow um, the pattern that is on here. We're almost there. It's best just to, you know, hand dry these or let them freely air dry before you put this back together.